YouTubers, what's going on? So you wanna know how to build credit. I get it, you're new, you're brand new to credit. Or you've taken a credit hit over the years and you're just making your financial comeback. You haven't used credit in a while. Or you're just new to the country and you wanna know how do I reestablish credit. Well, let's show you. I'm gonna jump on the whiteboard real quick, guys. Let's jump on the whiteboard real quick. Let's do this together, okay? And let's show you how to build up some credit okay remember the rule of three guys most banks and lenders what, what do they want to see they want to see that you have at least three active trade lines on your credit report so what's nick's rule of three um or what's nick's strategy in terms of an active line if you've ever done a consultation with us is three active trade lines that's mandatory that's how many we want to have on the credit report so the first thing you want to do is make a note grab a notebook grab a piece of paper by the way a credit action plan should only encompass one piece of paper. Does not require a notebook. Don't waste your money on notebooks. Grab a sheet of paper, okay? Um, so we want the rule of three, okay? We want a good mix of revolving, installment, okay? And then eventually, real estate credit. Why? Because 15% of the credit score is types of credit. Having a healthy mix of different types of credit, okay? Um, but in this case, to build credit, obviously, we're not gonna get real estate credit, okay? My suggestion is one credit card, two credit cards, okay? And one secured loan, okay? Let's talk about this. Now, the question you're gonna ask me is, Nick, how do I get a credit card when I don't have credit, okay? It's pretty simple, actually. Something called a secured credit card, okay? You can go to a website called bankrate.com. I don't know if you guys can read this, bankrate.com. So bankrate.com is gonna give you a list. There's actually a drop down in the credit card selection section where you can search credit cards, where you can search starter credit cards and secured credit cards. The concept of a secured credit card is fairly simple, okay? You're going to take $500, okay? And you are going to put that $500 or give that $500 to the credit card company, okay? They're gonna hold that $500 as collateral, okay? It's collateral. This is not a prepaid credit card. This is collateral. They're just holding it, okay? And what they will then do in turn is issue you a credit card with a $500 credit limit, sometimes a little lower as well, sometimes a little higher. Why do they do this? Well, they have no risk. You have no credit, so it's, you're considered a higher risk for them, especially when you're reestablishing credit, okay? But when you're putting up that collateral, there's no risk. If you don't pay on that credit card and you go into default, guess what? They're gonna take your money. Now, the good thing is a lot of these secured credit cards, after you've established credit, they'll offer you unsecured credit cards and you can actually get your security deposit released. Some of them will do it. Um, right up front, they'll actually tell you in six months of on-time payments, they will release uh, that security, okay? So we wanna get two of these secured credit cards, okay? And then we wanna get a secured loan. So remember, we want a good, healthy mix of active accounts. We have revolving accounts, which are credit cards. We have installment accounts, which are personal loans, student loans, or car loans. But again, the dilemma is we don't have credit. How are we gonna get these things? Well, this same concept here with a secured credit card where you put $500 into a, um, or you give it to the bank as collateral and they give you a credit line for $500, you can actually do that with an installment loan. Usually they're a little pricier, okay? Most banks will do it for about $1,000 in the form of a CD. So they're gonna take that $1,000 and they're gonna put it into a certificate of deposit, okay? Don't get caught up in the fancy talk. It's a savings account, okay? But the savings account is locked typically for a six, 12, 24, 36 month period, okay? They will then in turn give you, we'll go over here, we need a little space, a loan for $1,000. They will give you, remember what we talked about, having a mix of different types of trade lines, they will give you an installment loan for 1,000 bucks, okay? So there we go, guys. We got a credit card, or two secured credit cards, then we have a secured loan, okay? We have that healthy mix of three active trade lines. We've done it without a credit score, okay? Most of your local banks, lenders, 
Um, credit unions will offer you these two products, secured credit card, secured installment loan. If you need any help, you need some direction on where to access the, these types of products, um, we have full access to all the stuff in our client portal if you sign up with us. Um, aside from that, you can access through our blog. We have a million and one resources. You can actually reach out to one of our consultants. Um, call in for a free consultation. We'll actually direct you on where to go to get these products. Guys, this is Nick Tsukalis. This is Rebuilding Your Credit 101. If you have any questions, give us a call. Bye.